Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to Smile to Jannah Psh, Muhammad Salah at you again Smile to Jannah <laughs> All right guys, let's be real yeah. Fasting here was long, filled with sway pits and work. Being at work honestly felt like time stood still and then was going backwards Shh, as the dehydration set in and my sleeping pattern was more confused than Tommy Robinson at a Tajweed class. Can you say off? Muslim. All right, but with the grace of Allah, the benefits were far greater and Allah showed us how much control, discipline and generosity that we have inside all of us. But when I heard that Muhammad Salah and Sadio Mane were not only fasting during a match but were fasting during the Champions League final I was like what? Phew. These guys man. I mean he was seen having a drink of water at exactly 9.39 p.m. which was the exact time of the iftar in Madrid. Now not only that yeah but Muhammad Salah has single-handedly halved the Islamophobia in Liverpool. Hate crimes have reduced in the Liverpool area by 19%. I mean what's his secret? He's just practicing his faith. Now I know that sounds alien to a lot of us because we're interested in just learning the facts and arguments needed to convince people when in reality guys people just want to see Islam being implemented. Now let's move on yeah. Just Ramadan and napping. They go together like Islamophobia and the Conservative Party or Donald Trump yeah. and Boris Johnson. Trust me I got loads of these yeah. So Muhammad Salah has been seen napping more times than scoring actual goals mate. Well that's clearly not true because he scored 26 goals this season. All right mate. Now here he is having a nap on the aeroplane floor. Now that's fair enough when it's amongst lads yeah. But when those lads start pulling out their phones and start putting it on social media what does he do? Does he flip out? No. He, he, he just smiles. Now this is quite profound because celebs have an image to keep up but his humbleness shines through. Now number two yeah, this guy's at it again. He's in the parade bus and he has a nap yet again. To such a degree that even the toilet paper reports that he's been fasting and he's knackered mate. Number three, he's at it yeah again. Whoa, whoa 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 I think these two need to get a room mate yeah I mean have some shame. Alright fair enough he does have shame yeah. Hold tight to Muhammad Salah for dodging that haram like the matrix. Listen lady he's taken yeah his loyalties lie elsewhere. Now the biggest night of all the final the global stage. He scores a goal within the first five minutes and he does his signature prostration. Yo respect to him but the toilet paper still thinks he's kissing the floor. Flipping heck mate. Then he does this weird celebration that has the fans confused. I don't know what that is. I mean Maybe he's trying to discourage the fans from mouth breathing. No seriously that's actually a thing yeah. The harms of mouth breathing. Search it up. Now in Egypt people went to such a degree that they shortened the Tarawih Salah just so they could see him play. That's a bit excessive isn't it? I mean these people clearly don't understand the concept of highlights or the sanctity of Ramadan. Now let's end with this yeah. What did Muhammad Salah say is the key to success? Belief and hard work. Couldn't have said it better myself. And of course don't mouth breathe. I'm serious it's actually a thing. Search it up if you don't believe me. And not to mention how Salah prepared for his final match. Yeah, He prepared by reminiscing on what happened last year when he got injured and he couldn't participate in the final and he was crying. And guys gratitude yeah being grateful for the moment that you're in, being grateful for the present 
and being thankful and understanding whatever Allah has decided was for the best and is for the best. And this is something that we really need to understand and it's difficult guys, you know, when you're going through something rough, it's difficult to trust and you know, leave it blindly to Allah, yeah? especially when our connection is weak. But guys, understand, just like we trust our friends to cover our shift at work, here I'm sure Allah has more respect than your friend, yeah? Here Allah, He's got your back guys, yeah? Allah says in the Quran, He is the guardian of the righteous. Just be righteous guys, not nice guys finish last, nice guys here finish first. May Allah bless him, may Allah increase him. Guys, of course, we don't think the guy is perfect. We all have, have our flaws. We're not putting him at a pedestal, but we're not ignoring the good that he's doing and taking the benefit from it either. All right guys, until next time. Salaamu Alaikum.